the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. David ist halt schon so ein kleines Arschloch, also ich kann durchaus nachvollziehen, warum Chloe ihn nicht mag. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Das klingt schon hier vielleicht. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Chloe had a date. Drücke. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Okay, erstmal hier in Ruhe Maybe umsehen. this play won't suck. Maybe. Maybe. Anti-Drogen-Poster. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Hmm. Eh. Well, at least not for now. Okay, we have this. There's the type. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. Okay. Oh, eine neue Nachricht. Äh, hey, bin bei den Picknicktischen mit Mikey. Danke, auf dem Weg. Okay. Äh, Justin. Hm? I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Abgefahren. Party, Rachel Ember. Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. <laughs> Word. Um, was haben wir hier denn noch? Da sitzt noch so ein Typ. Hello, Evan. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? 
Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Waldbrände sind super. Warum tust du das? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knobcone again. No. <laughs> I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Yeah, cool. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? Evan, Chloe Price, Graf, ach komm. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of... Tomorrow's leaders. Okay. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Okay. Uh, können wir nix machen, so wie es aussieht? Steph und Mickey. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North. Blackwell's premier indoor kids. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Wetten das? Ich hab früher gespielt. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Was kümmert es euch? Wir sind keine Fre I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Mm, not cool. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Oh, Mr. das lustig? Ich bin absolut eine Elfenbarbarin. Okay. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon. Wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, 
Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Äh, da hat man im Charakterbogen hat man einen Menschen Kebab gemacht. Na komm. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Uh. Where do you wish to go? Zeit des Kriegsherrn, Gefängnislager, Übungsplatz. Uh, ach komm. Yes, it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages. Each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Uh, einschüchtern mit Brot bestechen, Schloss knacken. Ach komm, schüchtern den ein. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back. His scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Drachen sind Feiglinge, meine Schuhe, Fleischmarionette. Uh. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt laughing at you then he I shove my axe through the cage right into his stomach then I twist it and then pull it out his guts and shit start falling everywhere but I jam my hands inside his open stomach grabbing the key then in the final moments before he dies I hold the key up to his face and then I laugh normally I'd say you failed the challenge Except that was so horrifically amazing, you won. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. Wait, have you forgotten the training camp? There's potential loot there. I live for loot. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, 
all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fataler Spalter, Knopfschlag, Knistoß. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Jeder macht Fehler, dafür wirst du bezahlen. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? Nonsense. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Ja, da bleibt ja nicht mehr viel, ne? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, acid blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Vernichtungsschlag, Wutsturm, brutaler Schlag. Äh. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Es tut mir so leid, das Spiel ist super. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Ich hätte tanzen Elamon ermuntern vor Elamon springen. Äh. I say something really encouraging to Elamon. Like what? Yeah? Like what? Shit. Uh, why is being nice so hard? <clears throat> um, sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to, uh, stand up taller than you ever were. You just cut off my feet. Elamon feels inspired. He summons the strength necessary to crawl away from Durgeron. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength 
draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Auf seinen Kopf ziehen, auf seinen Arm ziehen. I take one last swing at Durg. Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. No. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. Okay, Drew. Also. Three, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. I would say we gucken uns hier noch kurz ein bisschen auf dem Schulhof um. Das Victoria. Uh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Ah, oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Rachel Amber, Preis für junge Künstler, Vortex Club. You hang with the Vortex Club? I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure The club I... should be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. Wow. The Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work, and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. So, the Beacon's putting me up on the front page of the lifestyle section. Who cares? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It's a was we have a girl umgebracht, lol. Nein. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. Wow. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Hausaufgaben sabotieren, weggehen. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon. Potassium and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. <laughs> Sorry, but Victoria, das kann man ja ruhig noch mal machen. Oh, wer ist er denn? 
Wir sehen uns hier viel zu lange um, ne? Na egal. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did though. Huh? Ah. Right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Justin Firewalk concert. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. You went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. Ist ja schon nicht schlecht, ne? So, what did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Der Typ ist nett, den mag ich. Äh, Miss Grant. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Which morning, Miss Grant? Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Das klingt sehr wahrscheinlich. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity is overwhelming. With all <laughs> the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. <laughs> What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, It's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Es sollte halt aufgeteilt werden, ne? Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. <laughs> Süß. Uh, so, dann gucken wir hier mal noch. But fire's so pretty. Hm. Nein, nicht das. Fire so pretty. Nein, 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 nein. Das da. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. Jo. Äh, ich will eigentlich mal in den Unterricht, aber es ist halt live is strange. Man muss sich halt alles 20 Millionen tausend Mal angucken. Kiste. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? 
The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream, or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Oh god. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana-flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Ich weiß nicht, ich höre es wie stets mit kleineren Übertretungen. Uh, I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused <laughs> to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. And yet, if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Eigentlich nein. Ach komm. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Victor Wells, I verstehe schon. Mein Quell versiegt nie Toleranzen. I really do. That's quite enough. I do not need ich muss doch erstmal lesen können. Your words alone have convinced me of your guilt. You will meet me in my office after school for a formal reprimand. Ich muss doch erstmal Zeit haben, die Antworten great. dazu lesen. Just great. Mann. Wie soll ich denn antworten, wenn ich nicht mal die Antworten da lesen kann? Ist doch unfair. Mit dir rede ich jetzt auch nicht mehr so. Hast du ja jetzt davon. Ich gehe zur Schule. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Mach das woanders, ihr seid beide loser. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. 
I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Ich, ich halte mich da raus. Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. Ja, und sie aber nicht, oder was? Warum sollen wir uns denn da einmischen und sie nicht? Oh, Mama. Mir gefällt nicht, wie wir die Dinge belassen haben. Wir reden heute Abend weiter. Perfekt. War das ein sarkastisches Perfekt? Nein. Okay. Dann gehen wir doch mal in die Schule, würde ich sagen. Oh, good. You're here. 